there are certain styles that I will wear and certain styles that I won't wear because I think some of the styles kind of age me because um, like it shows off a lot of my gray hair and it somehow makes me look old, you know? And it's, it's great when gray hair compliments you and makes you look great, but I don't know, I'm in that category where it's not enough gray to like say, oh, it looks really great, and so, yeah. I, I try to wear hairstyles that, um, not so that don't not show my gray, but like kind of like camouflage it so that it doesn't age me. So this is one of those styles um, that I've chosen to wear that I think doesn't really age me. And um, what I was working with, it started off as a bad wash and go, <laughs> or a failed wash and go. So then I was left with, what am I going to do to try to save that style? So what I quickly did was I um, took my hair, gathered it up, and I used a um, scrunchie to uh, hold it. And then what I do is I uh, left the, the, the length part of my hair. The length part of my hair has color. So when I leave that out, the color comes at you more so than, say, my white hair or gray hair. So that kind of camouflages the, the gray and, you know, kind of tones down the looking a little bit older kind of look. And then for my bangs, what I did was I, um, I, I made a deep part on the side here, and then I just rolled them like this. And the length part I just took to meet the, um, the puff part, stuck a bobby pin there and held that. And I wanted to do it in such a way where the red is on top, so the red shows too, and it kind of picks up the red in the back of my length of my hair. So then you notice all those colors and it kind of tones down the white hair. And kind of takes a couple of years off me, so <laughs> that's just me in my humble opinion. So um, yeah, as I go through more hairstyles that I'm doing this kind of thing with, I will um, share them with you. So I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.